Hello and welcome to Halftime of the Footy. Well, we're here tonight at the Perth Convention Centre to help celebrate Western Australia's rich football history. Tonight, six new members will be inducted into the West Australian Football League's Hall of Fame. The WA Football Hall of Fame is in its 11th year. Players, coaches, umpires, administrators and the media can all be nominated for their significant contribution and influence on the game of Australian rules. Well, I think it means a lot to all the players and I, I guess to be a legend it's uh, really fantastic. I don't think any of us ever think of that, obviously when you're playing, uh, but when you're finished and your career's over, it's nice to think that people feel that, well, you've done a good job. And the inductees this year, all quality players, you yeah, would have played with the yeah. few? Oh yeah, fantastic. And uh, I think anybody that gets in is lucky, including myself, because I think there's lots of other guys out there that have done a marvellous job for our game and it's the greatest game in the world. And so therefore I think if you can get inducted into that, you're doing okay. And uh, I just think that there's, uh, I'm very humbled by the whole thing, by the way, because I think that uh, to, be, to be in that group is you know, very good. And I think that there are a lot of other guys that uh, could easily be there. Great honour, great honour. It's a magnificent evening. And uh, yeah, can't get a higher honour in football than being here. And the inductees, all champions and deserve to be there? Oh, there wouldn't be one person involved who shouldn't be there. You, know, you go through the range of different people. They've tried to cover the whole spectrum of the game, which is great. From the supporters base to the voluntary people. Players, administrators, they've covered it pretty well. Barry White, a legend of South Fremantle's golden era in the late 40s and mid 50s, he went on to play 160 games for the Bulldogs and 16 games for his state. He was a prolific goal scorer, kicking 46 goals in 1956 and another nine goals in three games for Western Australia in the same year. He played in three Premiership finals was twice runner-up for South Fremantle's fairest and best and was made life member of South Fremantle in 1965 and made the club's Hall of Fame in 2011. Clive used to say to Lewington, the coach, he said, just go out and enjoy yourself. Don't worry about anything, just do what you want to do. And that's what I did. And, uh, yeah, it was, just, it was just easy, you know. I just ran around, got the ball, picked it and all that stuff, you know, which you're supposed to do. It's a really great honour, a really great honour, you know. You, you do all these things to play and you don't think of this is going to happen, wouldn't happen to you. So when it does, you know, it's just overwhelming. He's a man of supreme capability, of endurance, a brilliant midfielder and the inaugural captain of the Fremantle Dockers. Ben Allen's playing career spanned a decade from 1987 to 1997. 66 games with Claremont, 98 with Hawthorne and 47 with Fremantle as well as six state games for Western Australia and now the first player from the Fremantle Football Club to be elevated to the Western Australian Hall of Fame. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you can yeah, hold your, your head up and, and all those hard pre-seasons and the disappointments that you go through with injury or, or selection or you know whatever it is um, uh, sort of indicated that it, it was all worth it. So um, you don't expect a, an award like that. Uh, the Hall of Fame, it's a fantastic honour and You've interviewed some guys around the room. I've seen Barry Cable over here, and you know, just to be amongst that group of the hundred odd guys that are in there is just a, a bit of a surreal feeling, actually. He was four times fairest and best, the club's leading goal kicker on three occasions, and runner up for the Sandover medal. East Perth's Herbie Scray was one of the great rovers of the 30s and 40s. He went on to play 214 games in his illustrious career. 206 for East Perth and 8 for Western Australia. Herbie will always be remembered as one of the East Perth Football Club greats. They're all so very, very proud, the whole lot of it. The grandchildren are just out over the moon, actually. And uh, I think one of, the, one of them cried because they were so happy about it, you know. So, yeah, we're all very, very proud of it. Is there another Herbie in the family, do you think? Yes. Oh, we've got a few of we've them coming up. We've got a few up. of them, actually. Yeah. This man carries the honour to be the first Western Australian to field umpire at VFL and AFL level. Having presided over 203 games as well as 102 waffle games and five state games, 
After 25 years of national competition, Grant Vernon stands tall as the most successful non-Victorian field umpire, a true professional at all levels of his craft. I wouldn't dare to kind of compare myself to the legends that have played the game. I'm just really grateful to be included and, uh, you know, for umpiring in general, to have this acknowledgement is fantastic. I think, I think it's great and I'm thrilled. Is it a good example for other umpires to see the accolades that you can get if you stay in long enough and have a great career? Yeah, and I think it's, I think it's just great for football that it, it's an inclusive organisation that embraces everyone who's a part of it. So, yeah, it's, look, to be acknowledged is great and it, it certainly it means a lot to me, but I think it will mean a lot to umpiring in general. That, um, you know, I'm the first person in sort of my, in the sort of modern era of umpiring, so it's, it's great. Yeah, people will be very pleased. Ashley McIntosh is considered the most capable key defender in the West Coast Eagles football history. Playing 242 games for the Eagles, 12 games for Claremont and 4 games for his state, he was a Premiership player in the 1992 and 1994 Eagles squad and club champion in 1998. He has the honour in joining his father in becoming the only third father and son combination in the Western Australian Football Hall of Fame. I mean, I wanted to be uh, part of a uh, elite group. It's uh, a bit of a thrill, it wasn't expected, so uh, uh, you know, very happy. Someone who started off very young in footy, never thought that you'd get to the great heights of what you did. Must be a great thrill. Probably didn't know, know a lot about it at, at that point, and uh, just wanted to do the best I could, and uh, it turned out well. Brilliant and colourful and a true stalwart of the game, this is the only way to describe John O'Connell. A champion ruckman and a forward across both WA and Victoria, he has certainly left his mark on the game. Off the field he was either coaching the game or commentating the game and then finally administrating the game. John O'Connell is a true legend of Australian rules football. Well obviously that's the ultimate isn't it? I mean, you can't, uh, you can't really get any higher. You've become a legend but I don't think I'll ever become that. So this, uh, this is the culmination of um, quite a long time. You know. So it's been a lifetime but it's been great. Well there you have it, another fantastic night. Congratulations to all the new inductees into the West Australian Football League's Hall of Fame.